Good morning, all. Well, it's summertime. The kids are out of school. So that means it's camping season and it's backpacking and it's camping outside at night. And what do you want to do? Because you're going to want hot chocolate in the morning when it's nice and chilly. You're going to want just a little snack for the kids. So we are going to dehydrate mini marshmallows today. And FYI, do not do the big ones. Only do the little ones. You can do all the colors also, which I've already done. So you're just going to lay them on your tray. And um, don't double stack them or nothing like that. Just you make sure they're nice and level. Let's see. Okay. So when you put these on top of your hot chocolate, oh my gosh, they melt into the most ooey gooey goodness you can imagine. So let's see here. I got a little bit more to go. And I'm not going to put these really high on, on the temperature because you don't want to, you know, catch them on fire or whatever. I like to do them low and slow. And they don't turn a different color. They stay basically about the same except they get hard and it's really easy to take them in baggies when you're backpacking or you're camping out in the tent you know on the trail or you know whatever and you don't have to use this brand you can use whatever you like so let me put one more on i think that might do it hopefully so let's see here and then there's a really neat little snack too you don't have to put them in your hot chocolate. You lay them out here. There we go. Okay. Oops. So, there you go. Um, let me put the top on. So, I have a Nesco. This is like my fifth dehydrator. I go through them constantly. They're always on. So, um, it says here, herbs, spices, blah, 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 all of that. I'm going to put it at about 100. I'm going to do about 115. Some people might do it higher, but I, I'm just comfortable with this temperature with the marshmallows. So, when they're all done, I'll be back. Okay, marshmallows are all done. See how hard they are? Oh, perfect. So now the only thing I'm going to do is put them in the jar. You put the seal and the ring on. You can put an oxygen absorber in there, O2 packet if you like. Keep them a little bit fresh. So when you want to go backpacking, while you're camping out in a tent or in a trailer, whatever, wherever you have your camp, you or your kiddos are going to want hot cocoa. And these are perfect. Once they're in the hot cocoa, they start to reconstitute, and they start to get big, and they start start to get ooey gooey. So when I put them in my cup, I fill the whole top of the cup. You can't see any hot cocoa. I put so many marshmallows in the top, and it just turns into this ooey gooey goodness. So um, that's it, guys. Super easy. And if you have any left over after camping season, save them. Because winter will be right around the corner. Y'all have a cool day. Bye.